Hey guys, what's going on today? This is me, Dal Sue, coming at you with a brand new series, Stellar Hub. I uh, I had recently become interested in this game after seeing a few people play it on their channels. It was an early access, so I managed to uh, snag a pre-release copy from the devs, uh, Mark, who's very nice. And it's, I think, been released today or yesterday, and I've been playing along and really liking it. It's a simple game, but it, it's got a lot of depth to it. And it, for those of you who play Planet Base, it'll remind you immediately of that. It's sort of a space village building construction sim type of thing, which is right up my alley. So yeah, let's play. <clears throat> you can choose from different kinds of planets or different kinds of systems. You're not really on a planet, you're out in space. You're making a space station essentially. And they have various difficulties. I'm going to start, I think, on land car because it is, uh, it's got, what am I looking for here? Actually, the map size is small, so I'm going to go to the medium map size. That way I have a little room to stretch out and make this uh, sort of like a 10-episode series or so. And there are a lot of flying asteroids and a few pirates, so we're going to have to be careful with all that kind of stuff. We're going to start with professionals, many resources, infinite oxygen. Oh, right, right. They just updated it, so this is new. One of the things that had worried me playing the pre-release was that you run out of oxygen in your sector, and then there's not much you can do. So I'm glad to see this implemented. Very nice. Oxygen being one of the most important resources in the game for a space station, as you might imagine. Nobody uh, wants to suffocate to death. So, yeah, like I said, uh, it's a kind of a game where you build different modules and you research things. And the research tree is actually really in-depth, which is one thing that I like about this game. And uh, you mine resources and you trade resources. Really, really similar uh, to, to planet base, but also it's it's got its own thing going on. So here we are starting off with our main module, and uh, just to show you, you can see inside or you can stick outside. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. So two different views here. You have your workers, which pretty much make the uh, most important part of the game is sort of managing your workers and their different jobs. You can see there's a whole lot of different skills they can have, including uh, some sort of starting stats like strength and stamina and ability, agility rather, um, just to go through these real quick, if you are picking up the game and you're looking for a sort of soft tutorial, uh, strength allows you to carry more things, agility makes you move faster, stamina is how fast you get tired, intelligence is how fast you learn, mentality, mentality is how fast you get upset, I guess, and once they're upset they don't work, once they lose their, um, their um, morale, I guess you would say. And then you have all the professional traits, which allows them to do different things. This guy has no professional traits, so it's very nice that he's just a worker, worker is sort of the base uh, base job where they just move around stuff and uh, and that kind of thing. We've got a miner who's good at mining, surprise, unsurprisingly, and um, medic who's good at all that kind of stuff. We've got two scientists, cleaner, which is good. He'll keep the star base clean. He also doesn't need any skills to clean. Technician needs some skills. Um, he he does most of the building, but he can also repair things when they break. And we got oxygen plant operators. I don't know if I'm going to switch anything around right now. Sometimes what I do in the beginning is like I'll take her, so somebody who's doing a job which I don't have yet because I don't have an oxygen mining module yet, and I'll switch her to be just a worker so that she can help things move along. You can notice her um, her strength isn't great, but her agility is great. She moves really quickly. So it's going to be nice to have her. We're going to keep it paused, zoom out a little bit, and look. So basically, these are resources. There's two different kinds of resources you can mine. There's minerals and then, um, 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 what is it, ore? Ore and minerals. And then you have, of course, the solar energy, which you need to power your base. And for some reason, the sun only seems to hit certain sectors, so you have to build your solar panels there, which is going to be a little difficult starting out here to get all the way over there. That's one, two, three, four spaces away. Although that will be doable. Um, it's just going to take a minute. <clears throat> These question marks are things which you scan later, and they uh, sort of become either a solar panel or a oxygen thing or just random resources or something like that. So that's very important, but we haven't discovered the ability to do that yet. And this down here is, of course, oxygen. Um, it used to be that oxygen was limited, but now it looks like they implemented something where it is infinite, which makes a whole lot more sense to me. So I'm very happy to see that. Another oxygen cloud way up here, but it's sort of out of reach. So this oxygen is down where we're headed anyway. So my plan is to go here, 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 <clears throat> and then uh, get oxygen and get power, which are the first two things that you really need to get. Then we'll want to think about getting uh, ore so that we can trade that because that's the only way to make money in this game, so far as I can tell. So yeah, let's get started with a few modules here. 
you got to zoom in to build. I always forget that. Um, so I could just do connection stations all the way down, and that would be the cheapest way to go. But seeing as there's, <coughs> excuse me, seeing as there's a few modules I need anyway, I'll probably go ahead and just do those. So for one thing, I am going to need a canteen. That's where the uh, people eat. So I'm going to need that. Uh, I'm also going to need a med bay to keep people healthy. Then we'll need a crew quarters. I think I'll do it here. Yeah, that would make more sense. I'll need a crew quarters. I don't know why that's under recreation, but it is. And I could do a lounge here, but that's sort of getting a little bit expensive. So I'm just gonna do a connector there. And then we're gonna go straight into a solar panel which will be under production. Boom. That's enough to get us started. Let's speed up the game and see them do their work. Now, the workers are the only ones who deliver goods. So that's why it was kind of important that I made that third worker because that just sort of improves our ability to move stuff around by a lot. And right now the game is all about moving resources to these different places. In fact, I could probably use even another worker if I really wanted to, but <clears throat> should I do that? Let's see. Um, we got this miner. Let me pause the game here. She is uh, pretty strong and not very fast, but, sh but she's strong. So I could just go ahead and assign her to be a worker too. Why not? Just got to remember to put them back once you get uh, the modules that they're supposed to be working in because you don't want to waste a good miner as a, as a janitor or whatever. So, got to keep that in mind, but we will. All right, so all the goods are getting delivered really quickly now. And now it's going to be up to the technicians, of which I only have one, unfortunately. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, I could make this oxygen plant operator into a technician. Uh, technician is... I wish I could pause with space. I still can't do that, so you gotta go down there. So there's one job that's just like build stuff, and it's the technician, but the technician also needs skills if they're gonna repair stuff, but the repair and build job are, are lumped together. So if I make this guy into a technician, he's gonna be able to build. You actually don't need any skills to build buildings, just to repair them. So that's kind of important. So now this should double our ability to build. And that technician's going to go get started on a new module down here. You can see we've got our canteen up. We've got our med bay up. So we do have a doctor, right? Yeah, this guy's going to go work in the med bay. He's going to make vaccines. He's going to cure sick people. And progress is happening on both of these. Very good. Here is our crew quarters where they will sleep. We don't need anyone working in there because it's just a bedroom. This is just a connection, and then we're going down here to make our solar panel. The solar panel also does not need anyone to work in it. So that's quite nice as well. All right, let's go with another connector here. Let me pause it, actually. There may be something else I can do here other than a connection. Um, I do... What else do I need? There's one other thing I need. A lounge, I think, is a little bit expensive. 10, 10. Yeah, we've got enough. $4,000. This will keep their morale up, so we'll go ahead and do that as well. Morale is very important. We got our solar panel up, so you can see we're now generating 142 power and losing a small amount just based on, based on the modules that we have currently operating. We will, of course, build something here at some point, but for right now, That is a long way to deliver goods. Where are my good delivering people? See, he's so slow, he might not even make it down there. I like how they say little things <laughs> as they're walking around. Nice touch there. The dev is really nice, guys. I, I hope you support this game because he was very nice, and he seems to be um, quite a good developer as well. This game has already been updated several times since I started playing it just a week, less than a week ago, really. All right, so now we have an accident which is normal, not to freak out too much. 
and the technician is going to go fix it, but only the technician that has the ability to repair. We do not want this guy to repair it because he can actually make the situation worse. So I'm going to go ahead and switch him to just be a worker so he doesn't try to go repair that and screw things up. All right, let's speed it up. We are not getting any goods delivered down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need also a science lab. I, I totally neglected to build a science lab. That's pretty important, actually. Uh, that's sort of how you get further along in the game in every way. So we're going to do that. And then we will want to mine this resource over here very soon as well. A strong radiation, so we're unhealthy. So that means everyone's going to be going into the doctor, you can see. Speed is reduced and character will not gain experience. That sucks pretty bad. So we'll see how we're going to deal with that. I mean, all we can really do is wait for them to go to the doctor. The doctor's sick too and he also wants to go to sleep. So that's not great. He's going to go sleep it off, I suppose. Yep. Okay. So four beds in the canteen, six six seats in the, uh, sorry, six seats in the canteen, four beds in the lodgings or whatever they're called. We're getting some progress finally down here because we are going to need some oxygen relatively soon. And what we're going to have to do is make sure our oxygen harvester goes back to being on actual oxygen harvester, which is somewhere in here. There we go. O2. So go do that. The lounge has been built. That's just going to reduce their stress, obviously. And shoot. I think I made a mistake uh, because what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you're supposed to build the oxygen module, not on top of it, but like in front of it or off to the side. I should have built it here, but it's no issue. I can just build it right there and then it'll suck up the oxygen from that spot. These spots will also become locked later, unlocked later rather, when I do a new, um, whatever this is, the main module seems to expand the area you're allowed to operate in. So that's not a big deal. Science lab has gotten done. I do have a scientist, do I not? We have two scientists. Only one will work in a lab at a time though. So if you want to utilize both scientists, you need two labs. And it's telling me no project selected. The first thing I would usually do is, is the probe, but I'm a little worried this difficulty level, I might uh, encounter some pirates or something like that. So I'm gonna start with weapons. And then we'll do probes later because these little anomalies are not going anywhere. And you can see the scientist in there. He's, he is diseased, unfortunately. Wow, that was super fast. You can also do... Oh, he changed... No, he didn't change it. Actually, this doesn't do anything except unlock the ability to get weapons. So we still need to do that research. Scientist is sick and he's also unhappy. When they're unhappy, he, he may refuse to work. Or she is unhappy. Yeah, so because she's diseased, she's getting low morale. Why don't you just go to the doctor? I can actually tell her, hey, go to the med bay. That's what I should have done originally. Wait, now she's suddenly happy? What happened? She must have got some good news or something. It said... Uh, Oh, she got a change in mood from Clementine. Clementine is... She must have a, a, a quirk. I forget that, that they have quirks, right? So where is Clementine? She's a scientist. She has a bright personality, but she's also a glutton. I don't know why it's not letting me see that here. I think if I go to stats or skills... Yeah, okay. Glutton eats twice as much. But uh, her bright personality cheers up everyone around her, including herself, apparently. So that's really nice to have. All right, so now we can do pulse laser platform. I like to do it very centrally located. And we have a fire in the lounge. That's okay. Our technician's going to go fix that. You can actually prioritize it. Not that there's anything else that needs fixing right now, but you just go ahead and stick on the priority button just to make sure. So that's going to happen. And we're at the point now where this is kind of important to build 
this oxygen tank, lest we may run out of oxygen. But it looks like he got all the stuff there, so one of our two technicians should be along shortly. No, I changed him out of being a technician, so it's going to have to be Matthew, and he's going to have to finish this repair job first. Okay, so he solved that. Now he's going to get a meal. Damn it, dude, we need oxygen. It should be fine. <laughs> it's not getting used that fast. Okay, now he's going to do the job. Great. So as long as nothing comes up, he's not fatigued, he's full. Dangerously low on oxygen. Yes, it's going to be all right. We are working on it. Oh no, he's diseased. <laughs> our, our, our oxygen building technician is diseased. That's okay. All right, so we got oxygen, and we want straight away for one of our oxygen people. Yep, he can make oxygen, so no problem. He's going to go down there and do that. It's going to take just a minute. Where's my oxygen guy? You're an oxygen operator, so you're oxygen. You're, you're, you're mining some oxygen, and you've done it. Okay, 140 oxygen, boom, just happened. Great. So that'll keep us going oxygen-wise for a really long time. Otherwise, I think we want to send anyone who's diseased, especially if they're not doing anything. She's going by herself. Raise a skill. So yeah, they learn stuff too, which is cool. Like if you assign someone with no skill at something to do it, they will screw it up a lot, but eventually they'll become somewhat proficient at it. Okay, so we've got our laser platform. I'm going to go for a probe. And then I'm going to build a laser platform because I know that pirates or, or meteors or our asteroids or whatever are going to be coming before long. And I want to be able to protect myself at least a little bit. So we're going to do that. He's unhappy. He's coming here to get happy again, which is fine. This is a scientist going to work. I've got two scientists. Uh, see, as I told you, here come the asteroids. And you can only see what's going on if you click this button to see what's going on outside. And if I speed it up, I should see some asteroids coming. I don't think our defense is going to be done, which is going to suck. Yep, so we we're going to take some damage. I don't know if that was an asteroid-caused accident or not. But yeah, you can see... You click that the hull and the condition is going down those asteroids are not super dangerous but they are sort of no fun and if you get too many of them I believe you can get destroyed but all right so where's our technician what's he doing that's that's the question right now okay he's heading to the accident site first he's incredibly slow what's his deal he's just really slow so you can build a gem that makes your guys faster, which is really, really cool. Um, pirates. Injured and retired pirates. How much do you want? 20,000 credits is a good third of my money, and I am about to finish my laser, so I'm not doing that. Although the technician... Okay, he solved that. He's headed down here. I doubt he gets there in time. Yeah, I probably should have just paid him, considering... I don't really have means to defend myself, but hopefully he'll finish this job within a minute or two, and then we can start shooting back at the pirates. Ideally, what you want to do. Otherwise, they are they're going after the laser. Wow, smart pirates. Jeez. Okay, well, it's no matter. We're about to finish, and then they'll have to sort of leave us alone. All right, we got a probe. All right, now we're shooting back. I'm actually going to pause it because I need to pick another science, and the thing I can pick is a better 50% to laser damage, which would be incredible right now. Um, also, now I can start using probes. So I go here, I go to other, I go to probe. And I don't know if it's going to actually, it doesn't actually, this is a little bit annoying. So I, I need to build on top of these things, but I don't know where they are when I'm zoomed in. So I have to zoom out and then zoom back in and build it. Small gripe, but a gripe. 
So I want to probe these two things. And that's going to put me pretty low on energy, but it should be okay. The sun, like, um, rises and sets. I mean, <laughs> which is weird since you're in space, but it's like sometimes you get more power than others. Sometimes you get more power than other times to make it explicitly clear. Well, I think they're claiming victory here, but no matter. Where's my technician? I want to see what he is repairing. So he's got lots to repair, so he's going around and doing that. We need another technician, but we don't have anyone else with the repair skill, I don't think. This cleaner is painfully slow. Man. So those are probing. We'll discover what they are shortly. This is my spare scientist going to the med bay. That's fine. See, a lot of these people are just... This worker is doing absolutely nothing right now. So we could be sort of building something if we wanted to. What else do we need, though? Um, right now, not a whole lot, and we don't also don't have the science to build a lot more stuff. There's plenty more to build, but we just don't have that much science, which we need. Ah, right, mining platform, because we're going to run out of money if I don't do that. <laughs> sort of important. All right, so if I do my mining platform here, here, then I'll be able to mine this. Which is great because I'll be able to sell it on a trading port, which is probably the next thing I'll build after this. But I think that makes for a pretty um, pretty hefty first episode. We went through a lot there and we got started. So I'm going to end it there. If you like this game, I highly recommend you check it out. It's pretty cheap on Steam and I'm going to keep on going with the series because I'm digging it. I'll see you guys later. Hope you will like and subscribe. Bye.